What type of reaction are you wanting? A strong one. Um, a, a strong positive reaction from everybody involved. Uh, we're a collective, we need to move forward together um, and that's what we're going to do. Um, Steve and Edge are similar to ourselves, they've got some injury problems um, so they're going to be thin on the ground and it's important that we um, look at them, look at their weaknesses, where we can attack them but also concentrate on ourselves and um, like I say we look like we're going to score goals um, from kind of Christmas onwards it, it was an issue uh, with the team um, scoring enough goals and uh, I, I feel that we've kind of righted that but the, the goals against Column's not good enough and, and, and we need to time that up and like I said in previous conversations with you Steve-O, if we do that we will be a force. After conceding three goals in the second half in midweek, is it too simple to say that over the next couple of days you'll be working primarily on defending? Yeah, well, we'll, we'll be nursing the wounds um, that we've got because um, our numbers are low. We've got, we're supported well by our under-21 players, but we've got to make sure we get our best players out on the pitch where we can. So the medical team are working very hard as we speak. Um, we'll be working on defensive things over the next couple of days but also attacking as well because we don't want to move away from our goal threat. You mentioned injuries there, just give us an update, who's on the treatment table? Um, Might we be here a while? We could be, yeah, there's, there's more than one treatment table. Um, so Callan Gordon's um, had a bit of a bad reaction after the game, his back's gone into spasm, so he'll be getting treatment as we speak and be going to the swimming pool today for a couple of sessions. Hayden White's had a whack on the site of where he's where he's broke his leg there's no long-term damage there but as you can imagine he's very tender and he was in on crutches yesterday Nicky Maynard's um, got a grade one hamstring tear which will look probably a, a week or two so it's not a, a really bad tear but it's a grade one Bish I think it's probably more likely that Bish will be available for the Exeter game um, so he's not a long-term injury, but you know, it would have been nice to have him available on Saturday. So that's bad news. Yes. So he's not. He's not. A, it's not a long-term thing. So yeah. Listen, there's no point crying about it. You've got to get on with it. Uh, and we're fortunate that we've got quality within our squad. And the eleven we put out on Saturday will be a strong eleven. There's no doubt about that. But we are thin on the ground, and it's t at times like this we need people to come together. Um, we need people to support us through thick and thin but we also need the players to step up and do the business um, and we'll be supporting them between now until Saturday to make sure that we're in a good good state of mind uh, physically ready for the challenge ahead Let's just establish who's definitely out though uh, from those names you mentioned um, Bishop will be struggling well, uh, Bishop, Bishop won't yeah. be available um, Kellen will be 50-50 Hayden White is probably 60-40 not to play. Um, Nicky? Nicky won't be available for Saturday. What's the time frame on Nicky Maynard? With a grade one, it's normally a week, 10 days, two weeks max. Any sign of a, a potential new signing now, John, with that injury list in mind? Yep, so we're, we're going to look for reinforcements, or we have been looking for reinforcements. Um, they'll be coming in probably in the, well, it will be in the next nine to ten days. Too soon for Saturday? The likelihood of getting somebody in, yeah, in, in the starting 11 on Saturday would be slim, um, but, you know, the option is open.